What's up everybody? Welcome to I Speak Organized. In today's video, I'm going to be going through a little packing tutorial for summer vacation and I'm going to show you some of my best tips and tricks as well as my favorite products for packing as if you were traveling really light, even if you like to overpack. This is definitely something that should help you be super organized and prepared for your upcoming summer vacation. So if you're interested in learning my tips and tricks, stick around and let's get into it. My name is Melanie and I'm your professional organizer and productivity consultant. What does that even mean? Hello and welcome back. If you don't know me, my name is Melanie and I'm your professional organizer and productivity consultant. I help hardworking families and professionals find form in their space and purpose for every phase of life. If you love all things organizing and decluttering techniques as well as motivation practices and productivity ideas, then you should consider becoming a member of the speaker fam and subscribing to my channel. All you have to do is hit the little circle icon of my face at the end of the video or at any time if you're feeling inspired, you can tap that little subscribe button down in the corner and that will make you an official member. Also worth mentioning if you're new here, I'm a small business owner and I make these YouTube videos in my spare time, typically while my almost three-year-old and one-year-old are napping. So show me some love, hit the thumbs up and tap the little notification bell so that you never miss another opportunity to learn something new about organizing and productivity. It also helps my channel grow so that I can continue to bring you the best quality content on all things home organizing. Okay, so first let's talk a little bit about the planning aspect for your vacation. The first thing that I usually go for is my travel packing list. And you can actually head to my website and uh, under the free printables tab, I'll make sure to give the direct link down below in the description box. And you can click on that link and you can download a copy of my ultimate travel packing list PDF completely free. So I usually consult my packing list first so that I can gather my supplies. And just to focus on summer packing, I'm gonna go through the basics of what I always reach for when I am getting ready to leave. So the first thing that I always recommend that people invest in are packing cubes. And these are great, not only for helping to sort of keep things contained and not swimming around or stuffed in your suitcase, but it also allows you to create categories. And so one of the things that I like to do is actually pack entire outfits together. And I'm gonna give you a little folding demonstration to show you how I put an outfit together and fold it all up and then stick it in the packing cubes together. That way, when you're out on vacation, you're not going through and trying to pick the outfit that you wanna wear that day. It's already put together, and all you have to do is put it on, look fabulous, and go have fun. You can get packing cubes in various different sizes, as well as different colors and they're really easy to get on Amazon. I, of course, always link the products that I use down in the description area, so if you're interested in picking up some for yourself, head on down there and click the links. Usually as part of your packing cube set, you'll get shoe bags, which I love. You can usually fit two pairs of shoes, and in this bag, I have a pair of soft, comfortable sneakers and a pair of wedge sandals, and that's usually all I need. I always recommend for people that like to overpack, I encourage them to think about finding pieces to bring with them that are uh, staple pieces so that if they want to brighten things up with a pop of color or texture or a fun pattern or something, um, they can do that with scarves and with uh, jewelry and stuff like that and keep the clothing items very basic so you can mix and match and pack 
less. The other item that I never leave home without is my travel laundry bag and this is such an amazing thing to have. As you can see it's really super compact and it just unzips and creates a full size dirty laundry bag with a drawstring so that you can fully contain all of your dirty clothes in your hotel room or in your Airbnb or whatever. Um, it just gives you a place to be able to put those things until you're able to either get home and do laundry or however that works at your destination. Another product that I always like to have with me typically for summer vacation is a wet bag and this is for um, putting wet swimsuits or wet towels things like that. You can also use just a regular plastic bag, like a plastic grocery bag, to contain your wet items. Um, but if you're going to and from the pool and you have a little canvas tote that you're taking with you and you don't want to get the rest of your stuff all wet, you can stick it in a bag like this. Another option for this is actually to use it for the opposite purpose and use, uh, use the bag for electronic devices and notebooks, paper, uh, your wallet or whatever. And you can use a bag like this to keep those items dry as it is pretty waterproof. And of course I already showed you my little tote bag. I like something really simple like this. It's canvas and fairly sturdy but it's also very lightweight and I can fold it up very compactly and flat to be able to put in my bag without taking up a huge footprint in the suitcase. The other thing that I always have handy in my bathroom is my toiletry kit and I actually keep everything together all the time so I can just grab it, load it, and go. So I keep Ziploc bags in here to corral some of the oils, the creams, the nasty goopy things that tend to always open and get all over everything. I just make sure to keep a wad of these Ziploc bags in various different sizes inside my toiletry bag ready to go so that when I'm packing I don't have to go all the way to, down to the kitchen to find new bags. And I've been using these same ones for quite some time, so I'm able to make it a little bit more environmentally friendly. <laughs> and then I also just have different sized pouches that I make little kits for things. Usually this is makeup. I have a dental case and then I usually have one for my skincare and hair care. And if you are a subscriber to um, a makeup or skincare subscription service, you can always save all of those samples and load up your travel toiletry bag and just have that ready to go whenever you get ready to hit the road or get on the airplane and you have it all set for your trip. Okay, now let's go through a little folding example here. So I have just a big sweatshirt and a couple of clothing item options for my outfit. What I've done here with my sweatshirt is I also have just a plain basic tank and then I have a pair of shorts and I have a pair of long leggings. And so what I like to do is put all of these things together. So this would be one outfit plus an option that I can change into depending on the temperature. And so I'm gonna fold all of this up together. So the first thing I like to do is take the arms across just like that. And I like to keep the frame pretty square here so that I can fold the sides in over my little clothing package here. And you know, it doesn't necessarily have to be a one size fits all thing. If you wanna make it a little bit smaller and try to fit, you can stack these pieces maybe like this and fold across and try that. You really just kind of need to know the basic techniques here and then see how much space you have in your suitcase to make this work. So then I fold this up like that and fold it up like 
that. So then I'll take my hood, wrap it around, and then I just take the drawstring and tighten it around the top and then you can sort of just tie a little bow or a knot or something that's easy to work with and tuck it in. And then you just have this one little package that you can either put in the suitcase uh, like vertically this way or you can put it flat and be able to stack things on top. And that way when I go to get dressed for my day at the beach and we're doing the evening bonfire or whatever, I have my whole outfit ready to go and I can just pop it open and wear what is weather appropriate. Okay, now let me show you another option here. So um, this is another sort of space saving technique. And for this one, I'm going to roll the clothing. So I'm going to take the shorts here that I want to put in the middle and I'm just gonna go ahead and very tightly roll them in like that and then put them to one side. And then from there, I'm going to fold the shirt that goes with it up and over the top like that and then fold this end up and over the top and then you sort of have a little package like that. Okay now we're gonna assemble the suitcase so I have all of my main outfits because of the rolling and folding outfits together technique I was able to fit uh, two pairs of pajamas and three outfits with different options for each outfit into the large cube compartment. And then I usually do underwear and socks in a smaller one and stick that on the side, just like that. And this is a standard size carry-on suitcase. So then from there, I can put my two pairs of shoes on top. And if you have a suitcase that has a little bit of extra room in it, for if you end up going shopping, doing some retail therapy, you'll have a little bit of space for those extra things on the side here. So you can just secure your straps and go. I'll do the toiletry bag. Here, you can also choose to put it in a different compartment depending on how things are gonna be stored. And then I put my wet bag, my extra tote bag, um, and my little laundry bag. All that can fit in here in this big front pocket. Zipped up and we're ready to go. My last couple of tips for your organized packing and travel planning is to be realistic and know that you're probably going to be spending some money and buying things while you're on vacation. So be sure to budget that into your vacation budget. I also have a vacation budget worksheet in my free printable section of my website. So again, use that same link, factor that in to your trip and also factor that into how you pack. I think I mentioned it earlier, but I want to just emphasize the fact that you should make extra room in your suitcase, maybe bring an extra tote bag. And in addition to that, plan ahead to make sure that you have the space in your home to be able to bring those new things in. Usually what I do in preparation for vacation shopping is I'll look for items that are either a similar type or a similar size to things that I might want to shop for while I'm out of town. And I go ahead and I toss or donate those items so that I have room to replace them with the new stuff that I'm bringing in. It's something that I've just made a habit and I always tell my clients to do the same thing and I am now sharing that with you. So just be sure to plan ahead. It's a really super simple thing to to do to add to your list before you leave. Okay, that wraps it up. 
really simple, nothing super fancy for this tutorial. Just wanted to give everybody a basic beat for getting organized and packing for your summer vacation. I hope that you found at least some of the information in this tutorial useful, and if you did, please again consider subscribing to my channel and giving me a like. Go ahead and comment down below with your best packing and travel tips if you've got them. We would all love for you to share, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.